gonna cheat a little bit more and make my number four choice also based on a real person, though once again, highly romanticized. It's Edward D. Wood Jr. from the movie Edward. Considered by May to be one of the worst filmmakers of all time, you can't help but still love Edward for the mere reason that he loves what he does. Yeah, he's making stuff that a lot of people don't consider good. But the fact that there's a story that actually respects how much he enjoys doing it is really quite touching. And a love letter to those that really respect what they do and enjoy it so much. To me, I feel like this character is a reminder to why so many artists do what they do. There's always the risk that what they're doing will not succeed. For some, it may never succeed. At least not the way that they intend. But this character is a reminder that you gotta do it simply because you want to do it. Hell, you need to do it. And even if it turns out nobody ever enjoys it, that's not the reason why you did it to begin with. You did it because that passion is burning and won't be settled until you do something with it. I think in a world where so many people try to please other people, there's a great admiration for people that just do what they want to do because that's what they want to do. And it's not hurting anybody and they're not forcing anybody to see it. They're just expressing themselves in whatever strange, untraditional way that they want. And if you don't like it, you don't like it. But who are we to say they can't do it? Yeah, we'll enjoy making fun of it, and even get a good laugh analyzing just how terrible the material is. But the constant passion and joy this character has for his work, and how much he will never give up just to get out there what he wants to get out there, is not only inspiring, it's addictive. I can say easily I get a lot of my passion from this character. Every artist should know going in that not everything they make is going to be perfect. They're going to make mistakes. They're going to make things that not everybody is going to like. Hell, the majority might hate it. But if you're going in for the reason that you want people to like your work, you're going in for the wrong reason. And that's what makes Edward so special. Even though he made such awful films, he went in because this was what he wanted to do. It was his life. It was his love. I've seen plenty of people that can do something well but hate every moment they're doing it. And according to the film's adaptation, he had a lot of fun doing it. And he wasn't mean or harsh or cynical. He was always so upbeat and optimistic. That kind of motivation and dedication is so impossible not to enjoy. Every day on the movie set to him looked like a kid at a candy store. I just love watching his excitement and how happy he is. And no matter how many things constantly keep getting in his way, he just keeps shrugging saying, eh, I'll find another way. And in the end, his work did find an audience. Not the audience he probably intended or for the reasons he probably intended, but the audience is still there. And if we're going by this film's adaptation, my guess is he'd be proud of it. He seems so pleased by the tiniest things that I bet he would enjoy the attention. Like anything else in the movie, he would just shrug and say, that's show business, make the best of it. And that's what this character always did. He made the best of it. Yeah, some things would get him down. Yeah, he would hit a bump every once in a while. But he always get right back up and keep going. With a smile and a grin. Whether a lifetime of fans came of it or absolutely nothing ever came of it, he would keep doing it regardless. And I think you can make the argument that's the sign of a true artist. Not all artists have to be great, but I've known many that think of themselves as top shit but hate what they do, the ones that complain about what they do, the ones that don't appreciate the incredible gift that they have that they can actually explore this creative realm. When you think about how many aren't able to do that or aren't able to find the creative means to do that, Edward really does serve as a creative inspiration. I love how happy he is, I love how weird he is, I love that he kept nothing hidden, and I love how he just embraced everything that came towards him with a big smile, and the thought that if he just kept moving forward, nothing could stand in his way. Well, in the end, this character got his wish and serves to be one of my favorites of all time. Just as Edward never lost the passion for his art, I doubt that I will ever lose the passion for his passion. Oh, <laughs>